Okay, so today we're going to be playing Darkening 2, first level. And back in the day, I was really inspired by that level because of the atmospheric design and the lovely music. I'm actually still using that music sometimes in my own levels. Uh, but let's go through that level. Uh, so there are many things that I like about this level. And looking back, there are many things that I don't like about this level. So we're gonna shoot these guys a little bit, but not too much because there are many of them and there's not enough ammo. So uh, it's better to get to quickly grab some ammo and run away from the imps and come back later to them. But we shouldn't forget about them because they're gonna be here. Uh, okay, so we have a couple of imps here, but we also actually don't need to waste ammo on them. So uh, the level uh, is laid out just gorgeously. Uh, well, look at that. So in Darkening 2, I think they went for the Quake 2 approach, where it's like a little techy, and you have, uh, you know, this very techy layout. Uh, but at the same time, I think that it has its own style. Uh, but in this level, you will see that there are a lot of moments where you have to jump from ledge to ledge and make sure that you're doing this perfectly, otherwise you will not, you know, get your thing done. So we're here in order to get the yellow key. And the yellow key is very sneakily, sneakily hidden over there. Let me grab this pinky. They call it the demon, right? But I hear some people call them pinkies. I think this is very accurate. So there you go. Wow, guys, this is just a record. I've never done that before. Typically what you do is you do this and you fall down. So. I, like, I don't really like that, but you will see that uh, several things, other things in this level require you to, you know, tiptoe around the ledges to make sure that you uh, do it perfectly. Okay, we can go back. So we got the yellow key, not a lot of ammo, we're already out of shells, but there are some bullets over here. Let's grab them, let's grab them. And I want to go here to kind of grab a little bit more ammo. So, yeah, more pinkies. What I don't like... Also, like in terms of the pace, is that you're frequently faced with pinkies in this level uh, and a gun. And this is like just tedious. Like, what am I doing here? This is boring. What does this add to the gameplay? Nothing, right? Uh, and there are just too much of them. So, let's get this imp down. Alright, and here we'll have two sergeants. We're gonna supply us with some ammunition. Okay, this is the only reason we came here. It's a little. It's actually, look, beautifully done, right? It's very atmospheric, like this is some kind of, I don't know, lava production? <laughs> I don't know, so here's, 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 uh, let's, uh, th this requires the red key. Uh, over here, this is an interesting thing, you cannot get, in, you know, over here, but you can actually uh, try to do that. And uh, I'm, I'm actually very glad that during this recording I'm able to, do all these things but for example you want to try grab this one and this also requires you some kind of athletics there you go wow incredible I usually get it on the 15th time so uh, in a way we came here too early because uh, the initial progression of the level requires there you go again see requires you to actually start with a different part and then you open up this block and you proceed here but using that great athletics you can do this okay so I actually feel kind of skilled at this level now uh, okay I knew that now we got the blue key but we do have to go back to that area over there so let's go back slow you know a little detour oh yes and the guys are back remember the imps we didn't kill now they're all here there's a lot of them there you go and there's one more here yeah. So yeah, kind of in terms of gameplay, looking back, I think it's a little a little tedious, but look at the architecture. Like, did you see that roof? Like just look at that. Gorgeous. You can you know, you can actually imagine that this is a huge corporation, like a huge factory, and you're walking around and trying to get something. So here's a little more acrobatics there. Ha, ah, unsuccessful acrobatics, I have to, to admit see see that's the thing that's that's the thing I really don't like about this level that you need to jump around why not make it more comfortable I mean doom in my view is not a, a kind of game where you have to jump around it, it doesn't feel natural for the game uh, yeah it's a it's a little skill I guess but it's not something that you need to be doing in this game it's not like what doom is 
uh, is about. But anyway, I mean, I can't complain because so far I have been very successful. So let's go grab another key. So, yep, med kit, but we don't need it. Oh yeah, we're opening that block I've showed you before. And now, whoa. There's an imp here. And more acrobatics. Athletics, acrobatics. There you go. <laughs> Did you see the red key? I saw the red key. So yeah, I kind of, I'm not a fan of that kind of stuff. But I won't be complaining more about it because I think I've bragged on and on about it. So now we're here. Here's the red. That's the lava production thing. Uh, and here are the sergeants we've killed before. So we grabbed our ammunition. And that's the end of the level. So it's a very short kind of introduction level to Darkening 2. And uh, that's the end of the level. It's again like a little hairy because you have to press this and then you press that and it opens these bars. It's like, why am I doing this? Heck, yeah, now this Acro Demon. Uh, so before we end the level, I actually want to walk you through a little bit again some of the things that I really like about this level in terms of just design. Uh, so, uh, sorry. Uh, so I think that this is something that I don't usually see. Not that there are levels like that and maybe even better, but in general, like, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous building. I just love the cascading kind of structures here. Oh, and incidentally, we found some more monsters here to kill. But I think that there's there's a certain level of maturity about this level and about architecture. It was made by Ola Bjorling, who is just a great, great level designer. And I think that he's capable of creating, you know, just breathtaking landscapes. And look at this, right? Uh, this is this is this is just beautiful. Uh, and those small details of adding this, this is very realistic. And at the same time, when you enter the rooms inside, look at this interesting shapes, you know, the textures, of course, in Darkening too. I really admire them. Very beautiful. So yeah, and, but he does seem to go a lot for this kind of design. So, and now, okay, we barely made it, barely made it. Okay, guys, so that's it uh, for today's recording. Uh, thank you for watching, and it was Darkening Level 1.